Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. I'm often asked about the correct procedure and how to disinfect a well. You'd want to disinfect a well if you've got bacteria in the well, that being a coliform, E. coli, or something like that. And uh, this procedure will take care of both of those. So the first thing you need to get your supplies ready. You're going to need to locate the wellhead because you're going to be using that, but you're also going to need a bucket, you're going to need uh, some bleach, you're going to need some rubber gloves, and uh, some chlorine test strips. You're also going to need a hose hooked up to an outside hose bib because you're going to be using that for mixing the chlorine uh, bleach into the well. And uh, now the first step you need to do, to do is go inside the house and you need to bypass the water softener, you need to bypass any backwashable filters like that you have like an iron filter, a sulfur filter, um, sediment filter, anything like that needs to be bypassed and any cartridge filters that you have need to be removed from their housings. So remove all those, but the ultraviolet light, it stays on as usual. So the next step is you're going to want to remove these bolts so you can remove the cap from the wellhead. Now you have to be careful, there, there's an electrical connection here. So you remove the bolts and set it aside very carefully. So the next step is you're going to mix the bleach with the water. So of course the obvious question is how much bleach? So for well casings, for drilled wells for example, that have a 6 inch casing, um, you'd use 280 milliliters of bleach for every 50 feet of water. For um, dug wells, that to have 36 inch casings, you'd want to use um, one liter for every five feet of water. If you have no idea how much uh, to use, a, a good uh, default would be to use about two liters of bleach. Okay, so then what you're gonna wanna do is have about uh, three gallons of water in a bucket, and then you're gonna mix the, the pre-measured amount of uh, bleach with that, with that water so it dilutes it. Then the next step is once you've removed the well cap, and you've, you've mixed the bleach in the water, you're gonna pour it right down into the well. So the next step is you're gonna take the hose and connect it to the outside hose bib, and you're gonna run the water back inside the well. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna circulate the water and the chlorine, of course, throughout the, the whole system, and that's gonna make sure it's thoroughly mixed. So let that run for at least a minute, even a couple minutes would be great. And uh, so the, once you've done that, you can shut off the, the hose going to the um, to the top of the well and uh, you'd go inside the house and you'd open up a faucet. Now try to pick the faucet, the cold water faucet that's furthest away from uh, where the water comes into the house, where the pressure tank is. So run the water there until you smell chlorine bleach. If you have trouble smelling it, I would suggest using these uh, chlorine test strips. Much, uh, much more secure way and to be honest after a while you can't even smell the chlorine anymore. So, so get the test strips works much better. So once you've detected bleach at one of those faucets, then start working your way back. You want to flush the toilet, you want to run some water in the shower, and each one of those places make sure you test it with the chlorine test strips. And again, you're doing only the cold water first. So work your way from the furthest point away from the pressure tank back to um, the pressure tank area. So once you've done all that, then you're going to come back here, you're going to put some more chlorine down the well, the same amount you did originally, and you're going to mix it again and now you're going to do the hot water again starting from the furthest point and working your way back uh, through the system. Once you finish doing the hot water then you're going to come, come back here and you're going to take the hose and uh, again with the open uh, well cap you're going to run the water down and you're going to wash off the inside walls of the well casing itself. Once you've washed all that off then you're going to shut off the, shut off the hose and you're gonna let it sit. It should sit for at least four hours, but it's always ideal if it sits overnight. Once it's sat overnight, then uh, what you wanna do is hook up the hose and run the water onto a driveway or uh, you know anywhere like that, patio, anything like that, but not onto your grass, because it would kill the grass. Because you gotta remember, this water still has a lot of chlorine into it. So let it run, but don't be surprised if you see the water coming out quite discolored, especially if you have iron in your water, that's very normal. Next, be sure you do a load of laundry or something like that, but with no clothes in the laundry. Because remember, you've got the chlorinated water all throughout the whole house. So you want to make sure you get rid of everywhere, including going into the washing machine. So run, run a load without any clothes in it, just to make sure it's 100% gone um, before you actually do some laundry in the system. And then you're going to want to go back and make sure you put all the water treatment equipment off bypass back into service and you're going to want to make sure those filter cartridges you removed to put new filter cartridges back in. Of course the ultraviolet light is still on and uh, so uh, you flushed everything out. The ultraviolet light is killing any bacteria that's coming into the system at this point. 
And uh, so then what you're going to want to do is wait uh, five to seven days until you have the water tested because you want to make sure that you've uh, removed all the bacteria from the water, you've killed it all, and, uh, and now the water's safe for your family. If after that time you still get a positive bacteria test, then it's time to look at some kind of uh, ongoing um, method of uh, killing the bacteria. Ultraviolet light is quite common, there's a few other methods, but contact a water treatment professional like myself and they can help you with that. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about any new videos as they become available on our channel. You can also check out the existing videos, there's tons of information there. Go to GaryTheWaterGuy.com. If you'd like some more information about our products and services, you can go to thewaterfilteresteastore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.